We believe in God, the Eternal Father, and in His Son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Ghost. Our church is named the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints for a reason, and that reason is because Jesus Christ is the center of our faith. Latter-day Saints consider themselves as Christian in every sense of the term. We believe in Christ. We worship Christ. And we view Him not only as our mentor, because of those things he taught, but most of all, that he is our savior. He is the essence of all that we do and all that we seek to become. Jesus Christ really is a central figure in our beliefs, and we believe that he is the savior and redeemer of not only every member of our church, but of everyone in the world. The church teaches us to follow Jesus Christ, to serve others and to love others. The Bible says that all people are the offspring of God. They live with Him in a primordial existence. As part of their Heavenly Father's divine plan, His children come to earth and receive physical bodies, gain experience, and prove themselves worthy to return to live with Him in heaven. Knowing that I am a daughter of a loving Heavenly Father and having this sense of purpose I think is honestly the greatest gift of the gospel. The gospel helps us to be a better family, to be more united, more cohesive, I think more understanding of each other. And as a result, we're happier. We have a purpose together. We have a common interest and a common belief. And because of that, I think we are a better family. We believe in the scriptures, that the Bible is the Word of God, that the Book of Mormon is the Word of God and that we can still receive more of the Word of God today. I love the Book of Mormon. I love the way I feel when I read it. I love the stories. I love what it teaches me about Jesus Christ. I love teaching my children out of the Book of Mormon for the same reason that I love teaching them out of the Bible. The stories about Jesus Christ and his followers come to life as we read, and it makes me want to be a better follower of Jesus Christ. We believe in the prophets and the teachings of the Old Testament. We believe in the New Testament and all that was taught about Jesus Christ by Him and by His apostles. Because He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, we are His children just as much as the people who heard His voice through old prophets or when He was here on the earth. We believe that He reveals things today to today's prophets. And we believe that He will continue to reveal things to prophets. We have modern day revelation, and the prophet is able to hear revelation to speak for the entire church. But we also have revelation on an individual level. I know that throughout the day, all I have to do is pray and turn to Heavenly Father, and He can guide me by the hand in what I can do in my life to become closer to Him and to do what He needs me to do. And this is something that is empowering and uplifting, and I know that I'm supported by a Heavenly Father who loves me. The bliss of our church has brought me joy, peace and love within the family and even within the community that I live. Everyone I see, I see that he is my brother or sister. What I love about being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is that it provides opportunities to me and in many ways almost compels me to help other people. And because the church gives me those opportunities to help other people, I realize that I truly am a disciple of Jesus Christ as the Savior defined Christianity. By this shall all men know ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Our faith and the religion that we practice is not a Sunday religion. Mm -hmm. It's a lifetime. Yes. It's what we do. It's who we are. It's how we live. There's that saying, by their fruits ye shall know them. And the fruits of the gospel have always been good to me. They have always brought me joy and happiness and purpose in my life. So I know that the source must also be good and true.
Jesus was baptized by his cousin. John the Baptist in the River Jordan, or Jordan River. John the Baptist was in the water, baptizing other people. And then he saw Jesus. John's like, what? You want me to baptize you? You should be baptizing me. John asked why he needed to. He didn't have any sin. Jesus says, I must be an example to all who is righteous. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. So then he baptized him. He got baptized by immersion by going all the way underwater. Heavenly Father was happy about it because he knew that it was going to help other people to be on the right path to go up to heaven. And then Heavenly Father speaks from the sky and says, Behold, this is my beloved Son, and which who am I pleased? Jesus got baptized and he was being obedient to his dad. He said it was because it was a commandment. He did it because he wanted to be an example, so everybody else knew that that's what they needed to do. Even though he's perfect and they didn't need to be baptized, he wanted to be an example so that other people could be baptized and know that that was the right thing to do. I think we get baptized because we, it washes all our sins away. It cleans your body spiritually so you can live with God again. Becoming a full member of the church. And um, we make a covenant to Heavenly Father and Jesus that we will keep his commandments. I'm reading the scriptures a lot and following Jesus, praying every day. I'm swimming around in my pool to practice getting baptized. At first, I was kind of nervous. And afterwards, I just felt so happy. And it was good for me to get baptized because I'm the oldest and it set an example for my brothers. I'm gonna be baptized and I'm gonna be blessed with the Holy Spirit. All the sins that you had are washed away and you are clean so you can get the gift of the Holy Ghost. You have the Holy Ghost to help you and to look after you when you need Him. It allows you to feel the Holy Ghost and it tells you that what's right and what's wrong, like what to do and what not, and He, he will be your friend no matter what. words I'll stand on solid ground even though it's still hard with questions that arise every day I will say I'll help me like brother Joseph and the strength of the pioneers I'll be brave as a stripling warrior and like me by Wide throughout all the earth, with Jesus as our guide, we'll wield the sword of truth, even though it's still hard with questions. 